Here we have something that's only happened once before in Ultimate Battles, an herbivore on herbivore dinosaur duel. And I'm taking the opportunity for a couple shout-outs, one to Triceratops Horridus, who suggested this battle, wonder which side he's on, and Luigi Gaskell, who massively helped with the scientific research for this fight. Check out his stuff at Paleo Luigi, his new channel. Uh, these two dinosaurs are the most famous and iconic herbivorous archosaurs, with the possible exception of Ankylosaurus. Maybe it has something to do with the giant spikes. Who doesn't like giant spikes? Except, of course, for the theropods that get stabbed by said spikes. Not really jealous of those guys. I'll analyze Stegosaurus first. S comes before T, after all. Specifically, Stegosaurus ungulatus, the largest species, which had an average mass of 5 to 6 tons, metric tons. It's possible that some fragmentary specimens reach 7 tons, or even 8, putting large Stegosaurus in the same mass range as Spinosaurus. Its bulk is organized a little differently. Most of its mass is in its center, giving it solid balance and distracting predators or enemies from its tiny head. That defederalization allows for an excellent base to swing its tail from. I can't imagine that a 12,000-pound animal ramming an array of three-foot spikes into you would feel all that great, and Allosaurus agrees. A study by Carpenter et al. in 2005 shows how the thagomizers of Stegosaurus had enough power and durability to drive into the vertebrae of Allosaurus. That also means they were capable of hitting fast, agile, bipedal predators with their tails, and totally debunks the ancient idea of a sluggish or painfully slow Stegosaurus when it comes to deadly combat. Of course, it won't be able to banish the rumors of its unintelligence. Its EQ, or brain size relative to body size, is extremely low among dinosaurs. But hey, its tactics clearly work. At least against lightweights like Allosaurus. It's doubtful that they would fare as well against titanic murder beasts like Tyrannosaurus, which averaged over 7 tons and could theoretically push 10, according to Dave Hone and Thomas Holtz. That's an animal that Triceratops regularly defended itself against, and even defeated, according to Hap JW 2003 that study highlights how Triceratops suffered bites on the head, revived the fights, and then healed the injury. That's serious durability. Fark et al. 2009 adds to Triceratops' reputation as a damage soaker and reports healed lesions from horns of other Triceratops, also on its head and face. So it was taking hits to the face and was used to close combat with other blade-wielding animals its own size. Speaking of size... Just how big was Triceratops, anyway? Does it matter which species battle Stegosaurus? Benson et al. 2015 indicates that it doesn't. Their estimates put both species at a minimum mass of 7 tons, which is at the high end for Stegosaurus, and a maximum of 14 tons. That's 30% heavier than the Songqua River Mammoth or Eotriceratops, and quite nearly as heavy as Paracerotherium, the largest land mammal ever. It also happens to be twice the size of a large Stegosaurus. By the way, I'm using Triceratops Horridus, since that's the one who requested this fight. And before any of y'all start bellowing for the Triceratops to charge in like a bull, remember that it doesn't really do that. The impact of ramming a solid enemy would break its face a little, as shown in David Attenborough's The Truth About Killer Dinosaurs. Triceratops was more used to stabbing and slashing from a grounded position. So would it be able to get past Stegosaurus' thagomizer radius of death? Well, Stegosaurus had awkward leg proportions that severely limited its speed and agility. Just, just, just look, just, just... just just, 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 just look at that. Fastovsky in Weishampel 2005 states that its top speed was 4.3 miles an hour, while Paul and Christians in 2000 said that the movement capability of Triceratops were broadly similar to that of rhinos. Rhinos are pretty fast. They can clock in at 34 miles an hour. To sum up the mismatch, Triceratops is far more durable, has experience fighting gigantic and dangerous enemies, possesses a moderate intelligence advantage over its rival, and is twice the mass of and can move eight times faster than Stegosaurus. If this isn't a dino curb stomp, then Robert Bacher's an archaeologist. Created using Powtoon.